Hello and welcome to the Red Feather Genealogy channel. Well, you can tell from the title of this episode that it's going to be quite controversial and there's just no getting around it. Uh, these are discoveries that I have made by delving into genetics over the last few years and uh, I just feel that this is a story that very specifically needs to be told. Uh, I'm not going to get into the technicalities of this. Uh, the newest edition of my book has all of the techno babble jargon chromosomal goodies to uh, show you how you're actually part of the process that's going to be explained. Uh, but for the time being, I am going to try to keep it simple and as light as I can considering the subject material. So, slavery is obviously the biggest blemish on this country's history, and we're still seeing the repercussions from this playing out today. Uh, it turns out that DNA has a huge role to play in this as well. Quite simply, I am white. Pretty white through and through. I didn't always think that I was, but it turns out, according to several DNA tests, I am white. And, as a white person, it turns out that I have a lot of white relatives. You get relative matches through the DNA sites, and a great many of them are white. None of this should be a surprise so far, except I started getting black matches. A lot of black matches, actually. So, all of a sudden my extended family uh, was going all over the map in directions that I never would have expected. Now, this completely took me <laughs> off guard initially, as it does with a lot of people who test, because my background is generally northern, and I've been very proud of it. I'm an Oregonian, and I've been very happy to be on the winning side of the Civil War and abolitionists, the whole thing. And I do have a few branches that do uh, veer into the south a little bit, but I kept noticing I was getting so many more black relatives than I ever would have expected, so... Well, this is where it gets slightly technical. I'm not going to get into that because, like I say, the book describes all of that for anybody who wants to get into it. But the long story short is that I found that I was matching black people and white people in specific pieces of specific chromosomes. What this means is that a whole bunch of us who have taken DNA tests have one common ancestor. Just one. Now, the average black American is significantly European, about a quarter European, give or take. Believe it or not, but this is borne out by DNA testing again and again. Uh, and so the common ancestor would be white. Of course, you go back far enough in time and we start getting into slavery. Well, historically, black Americans have been in what they call the Black Belt, in other words, the Deep South, and so I always just assumed that the shipping fleets that were bringing Africans over to the New World were obviously operating in and around the Deep South. But it turns out that <laughs> I still can't quite get over the shock of this, honestly, because I was so surprised. It turns out that most of the shipping of African slaves to the Caribbean and up here to the Deep South was actually done from Rhode Island. Yes, that's right. Tiny little dinky Rhode Island, home of the Puritans, unusually open-minded Puritans and God-fearing people and all of that kind of thing. Well, except the ones who were involved in this trade, obviously. And so their trading network, as seen our American slave trading triangle, was essentially a lot of Rhode Islanders making their way over there to Western Africa and bringing their cargo over to the Caribbean. The vast majority of slaves were actually shipped to the Caribbean and to South America. Comparatively few were shipped up here, and generally they were shipped to the Caribbean and then later on shipped up here. And a few did get shipped to the north. I mean, don't get me wrong. <laughs> uh, I'm not leaving out any blame for anybody in any of this. Some did get shipped to the north. But the vast majority went to the Caribbean and or the Deep South, which is where, of course, a lot of my black relatives who pop up in the DNA matches live. So, you're probably putting two and two together and beginning to understand why the video has the title that it does. Is because, well, this is what people frequently do uh, when they can get away with things, and especially to slaves who have 
nowhere to go. All of a sudden, you're stranded on this boat in the sea. You can't go anywhere, and you're essentially defenseless. So, um, usually I delve right into controversy, but I'm trying to choose my words carefully here because there is no bigger pit of controversy than this. So, I think the way that I'll phrase it is that uh, some of my ancestors, my northern Puritan-ish New England future abolitionist ancestors were uh, abusing their cargo on the way to the New World. In fact, digging into this further, uh, it was apparently not unusual for slaves to show up in the New World very, very pregnant as a result of this. So, whereas I've always figured that this kind of thing only happened in the South, or at least hopefully most of it happened in the South, it turns out that my northern ancestors, my <laughs> enlightened white people, uh, were setting the tone. Um, and so, of course, whatever population increases were happening in the New World were happening very, very rapidly as a result of these people as well. So, anyway, the point of this video is that I want people to understand, and I don't have an ideology or an agenda or an outlook to push. This is just, this is scientific discovery, whether people like it or not, that black and white Americans are so closely related, they're not really distant cousins, they're not distant cousins, they're close cousins, and sometimes siblings are almost siblings. It's almost like the side of the family that has been left out in the cold. I, you know, I've helped a few black people now with their genealogies. It's a very different thing than doing my own. Uh, DNA has been tremendously helpful, but, but it turns out uh, they're not actually that much different from me. They're so closely related, and they're looking for answers just like the rest of us. And uh, I just, I feel that people need to know how closely related they are. So, like I say, if you want to get into the technical chromosome issues and the science of figuring this out, uh, that's available to you. Otherwise, uh, just know that <laughs> if you see anybody of any appearance, any race, any background, uh, they might very, very, very easily be related to you and much more closely than you ever would have guessed.